Hi, welcome to EV3 Composer, which is a project built using the LEGO EV3 system, either the educational set or the uh, retail set, although with the educational set you do need to have the extension set as well, the two different versions you can build. Here is the retail set version, and we can start the program, which is called 002, running by pressing the button here. Uh, it immediately gives us a warning, and uh, that warning says that in order to use this for the first time, you need to initialize some files which are stored on the brick, some data files, um, which is done using a separate program. So we'll stop that, and we'll move down to the other program, which is called init files. There it is. And we can start that off. And it simply asks us to press the um, select all or some files to initialize, left-hand button for all, right-hand button for some. Well, I'm not going to press the left-hand button because I have already initialized the files and saved some that I want to keep here. But I'm just showing you where the, where the program is. It's very simple. Just press that and it's done. We'll come out of that, go back to the main program, start it off. We will ignore the warning and we get two screens with short instructions about the program. But I'll just flip through those quickly because I can demonstrate to you how to use it. Right, now when we actually start this program off, which we'll do now by pressing the down arrow, it first of all initialises and it drives both the motors round to their end stops, the left hand end down here, and it sets the zero position for them. We can now use the uh, left hand motor here. If we rotate it, you'll notice that the note displayed on the screen, and you can hear it as well, is slowly increasing in semitone steps all the way up over a three octave range till we get to the top which is arranged to be one rotation of the motor round to there. Go back down again all the way and we go back down to the lowest note which is the C in octave four. So it covers C octave four up to C at the beginning of octave seven. Because the notes are fairly close together it's quite difficult sometimes to get exactly the note that you want so another mechanism is built in by means of using the colour sensor and a geared wheel which we turn and every time we turn this you can see that it rotates a little uh, flap, a red flap in front of the colour sensor and each time it does that it increments the position of the motor a small amount so you can very accurately adduce any note by doing that or you can of course do it manually if you want to. The other motor over here is used to adjust the duration of the note. At the mo moment the duration is set to be a semi-quaver. If we rotate this around you can see that it goes from there to a quaver. There. A dotted quaver, a crotchet, a dotted crotchet and so on. A minim and right the way up to a breathe. Some of the notes just display a number like that one, 11. Uh, there are actually uh, 16 durations from 1 to 16. If they have a meaningful musical name, then that is given like quaver, dotted quaver, crotchet, dotted crotchet. Otherwise, the numerical value of the delay is shown. So let's set that back down to the fastest note or the shortest note, which is a semi-quaver. And let's see how we can actually write a tune. Well, we'll start off uh, setting down the lowest note, and every time we want to record a note, all we do is to press the push button here. That records the first note. It says one note, and we can now choose a different pitch, record another note, different pitch, record another note, different pitch, another note, different pitch, another note, another note. And we'll finally end up down at the lowest note, but this time I'm going to set the duration to be a bit faster, a bit uh, a longer note. Let's take a crotchet, record that. One other important feature in producing a tune is the ability to add rests to it. And that is done simply by choosing the duration of the notes you want. Let's make it a minimum this time. And we will hold down the down button here at the same time as we record the note, and that way it records a rest rather than uh, a playing note. 
and then we'll finally record uh, a, a note up an octave let's go up to another C there we are and we'll record a minimum note to finish the piece like that we recorded our piece we now need to be able to play it back again and to do that we select the mem menu and that is done by shading the infrared sensor there and we can see there's a menu with five choices on it uh, corresponding to the five buttons in the center there the up, uh, up button, the down button, the left, middle and right buttons and we can see that the down button says play so let's select it and after a brief note saying playback it asks us to select a tempo and there are four preset tempos which can be chosen using again these same buttons left, middle, right and down uh, ranging from 60 crotchets a minute up to 240 per minute we'll choose the fastest one and play back the tune that we've just recorded which will happen as soon as we press that button and you'll notice that after this very fast sequence of semiquavers there was a longer note at the end then there was a rest and then there was another minimum up an octave we'll play it back again this time a little slower so that you can hear that um, more clearly and you can also see the effect of the different tempos so we use this time 120 uh, beats per minute which is half the speed we had before half the tempo okay let's go back to the menu and we can see that there are various other choices there um, I can for example press the up button and that will delete the last note and will delete another one um, if we go back and choose it again and now if we were to play our tune one more time we haven't got the octave at the end or the rest so it will finish a bit more abruptly like that the last two notes have gone uh, note uh, the rest counted as one of the notes right so let's come back here and uh, we can see it's also possible to uh, clear the memory which we can do by pressing M and that enables us to start off another tune if we now try to play a tune and we go to playback there's no tune there so it doesn't play anything but we have some pre-recorded which I've done uh, earlier let's just play one to see show you something of what uh, this is capable uh, we'll choose load and I'm going to choose the second file here and load that into memory 272 notes so it takes uh, a little time to program in but very quick to reload and now we'll shade the sensor again and we'll come down to play and I'm going to play this back at the fastest setting and I think you'll probably recognize the tune the Rodetsky March there we have the Radetzky March and to finish with um, we'll just uh, load up one further file which is file number nine this is the longest one which I've so far recorded <coughs> got uh, sorry file number 10 which has got 665 notes in it takes a little time to load in not as long as it took to write it there we go and that's ready to play and as we play it I'm going to move back up to the uh, screen uh, to show you something of the documentation which is uh, available with the model 
um, showing you how you can com actually compose it and make it. So we'll start that playing, selecting there, load, play, I'm going to use the fastest tempo and here is a rendition of Flight of the Bumblebee, a la EV3 Composer. Here's the starting documentation screen. And you can see that there are six uh, sections. First one gives you a system description. <coughs> then there are three sections dealing with building the model. One with the program description and one with a series of screenshots that occur during various stages of the program operation. We'll just uh, flick through these. Here's the system description pages, two of those. Then we have the duration motor assembly, a building instructions, 59 sections. We have the note pitch motor assembly, 96 sections, the 31 steps of the final assembly. Then we have the program section with uh, some pages describing how this operates, five of them. And finally, we have the series of 14 screenshots from various stages of the program illustrating how this works. So there we have the EB3 Composer, and I hope you've enjoyed the performance.